This is Foxy Roxy. Roxy's a lab that has suffered for probably a year, a year or more with multiple ear infections. Ear infections are the, um, as the ear gets red, wax accumulates in the ear canal and bacteria yeast can grow in there. So most of the time, ear infections are caused by allergies. What causes allergies uh, in inflamed ears of dogs? Well, there's pollens and molds in the air all around us that can cause the, as they breathe it in or they get in contact within their ears, they can, um, it will inflame the ears and cause more wax and bacteria and yeast to grow. Also food allergies. Food allergies will, if the dog eats wheat or barley or sometimes even rice, sometimes beef or another protein they don't tolerate, it will redden the ear and cause the same thing. Well, over time, if, if there's an ear infection, then what will happen is the fox bacteria will grow. With Foxy, what happened was she grew, she had ear infections so much, and we, we had her on a limited diet, we had a diet that had no allergens in it, and the ear infection still wouldn't go away. So in the effort to help her, help her get rid of it, then she's accumulating a lot of wax. So thinking that maybe she had a narrow ear canal and she, she couldn't get rid of the wax, we decided to do a lateral ear section and open it up. And I, I showed you that in the video. Now if you look at the after map, this is a few weeks after we did the, the lateral ear section. There's, there's part of the ear canal that I flap down there and there's the actual opening of the ear canal. It's, it's uh, that little dot right in the center. The ear canal that goes in to the eardrum is, that's the little hole you see right there. So we've taken out this piece of skin and flapped it down so it opens up the whole area and, and lets drainage and air get to it in the hopes that we will, will help that ear get more air to it and get over the bacterial infection, the chronic bacterial infection. That you will never, for those of you that are looking at this video because you want to treat your dog's ear infections, um, you have to use something to clean out the ear and then you have to use something to kill the bacteria and yeast. But, for, but and that will help the ear infection presently. But you will never cure it unless you address the allergy that's causing it in labs. That's common, they can be food allergy, allergy to pollens and molds, and also can be uh, al actually allergy to fleas, cause ears to get red too. So if you've got a dog with bad ears, you want to make sure they have flea control, make sure they don't have fleas. You want to make sure that they're eating the food without allergens, right Foxy? Without uh, wheat and corn and barley and possibly beef if they're allergic. Beef. The best dog foods to feed a dog with food allergies are fish and potato or chicken and rice. And you can even homemade food. Homemade food. And if you go to my website, Dog Dish Diet, I have a cookbook, Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet, and also Dog Dish Diet, that will help you get the right, decide what the right foods are for your dog, and also home cook if you want. And talk about the elimination diet for allergies on Fox. She's such a we go to the surgery, we treat her every day, and you know what? She just, she just, she just sits there and says, "Okay, whatever you guys do is fine with me." Is that right, Foxy? No, good girl. Yeah, what a smile. She's smiling for you, and she gets to go home today, which is great because she's been here for about a week, and all we've been doing is treating her, and uh, she's tired of it, and uh, I don't blame her. And if we give the propofol, which is a very safe anesthetic, you'll see Foxy look up at me, and she's so calm. I mean, this is actually how calm she is during the induction. And then you'll see her look around like, whoa, what is all that? And then her head will slowly relax and go down as she goes under the anesthetic.
In order to clean an air, you have to put a solution to break up the wax and grease. It's kind of a degreaser like Dawn Detergent or Otis Soothe, many of the degreasing air cleaners. Well, if it's greasy in there, then the bacteria are safe and they can live there. And even if you put medicine in, it won't get rid of the bacteria. So you always got to get the grease out, the wax out. And you can do that by massaging in the air canal and getting out all that black stuff. Why would we do a lateral air resection? Well, um, because some dogs have ear infections that just won't clear up. And you know, the owners are in the hospital here uh, every once a month or once every couple months. And believe me, we've tried lots of stuff. I don't do these lateral air resections even as much as I used to because I found that so many dogs get better when you change the diet. Changing the diet means changing the, the ingredients, avoiding wheat. So if you go out and get a no-grain dog food, but you feed a greenie or a dental chew or biscuit, you're introducing grains. So that's where a lot of people, that's why we don't get these, uh, sometimes they won't clear up. But when that doesn't work, and we try all kinds of ear medications and we culture the ear, and if that doesn't work, then we consider doing this. And what we do is we're going um, to cut right down the ear canal and we're going to expose the ear canal. Uh, as I show you in the model, the ear canal goes down and in. And we're going to open up the ear canal to the environment so the wax can drain right out. Uh, because sometimes when they've had chronic infections, they just continually get infections as the wax builds up in there. So this is my guide. Uh, this is the ear canal. The, the, the instruments go right down the ear canal and the ear canal ends right here. And so what we want to do is we're going to open up the ear. We're going to cut down the, the skin. We want it to be pretty, so right at the corner there. And then we go straight down. And then we find out where the... It ends right there. We go down a little farther. Then go on this side, follow that line there, and go right down like this. This is the gro gross part, isn't it? And we can modify that skin if it doesn't quite fit when we when we uh, cut. And then we're going to cut across, make a little square. Get my glove tighter so I don't... That's not good. And a lot of people ask why I use this blade like this. I feel like I get a lot better touch. Because if, if I have it on the long handle, I can't feel it as well. So now what I do is I'm going to take the skin I cut and I'm going to get rid of it up to the edges this skin we don't need anymore And then we're going to dissect down down to the ear canal. Here's the here's a big vessel that we don't want to cut. Here's the ear canal itself. And let me it is oozing a little bit, but here's the ear canal itself going down, and we can see that because if I put this this instrument in, the ear canal goes down like this, and then it turns straight in. And if you, if you can look down here, the ear canal goes straight in from here. So, so wax, when it builds up, it builds up in this portion. Because imagine, imagine this is going down. The wax stays in the cup, and then it turns in. So what we're going to do is cut the, this, this, this cartilage to where we can um, have, the, have it sticking out like a French horn instead of a... No, French horn goes up. Tuba. 
tuba goes up. Well, you can tell I'm not an orchestra. Or just. Anyway, one of those one of those instruments that goes straight up. That's what we're going to make. We're going to make it look like more like a trumpet instead of like a tuba or French horn. So you can see the the ear canal hole. We don't want to want to puncture the eardrum, but here's the ear canal hole. And uh, this is the opening of the ear. This used to be covered with skin right here. Well, actually, all the way up to here used to be covered. So what we did is we took, we cut the ear, then we cut through the ear canal, and we brought it down so it's got a little drainage flap, and there's the opening. So now when the ear has chronic ear problems, it may not have so many now because the wax will come, in, come out of the ear and drain and keep the ear dry. Ear infections are always secondary to the accumulation of wax in this little funnel. If the wax can't come out, it's like leaving a goopy, oily pot of wax that's warm and yeast and bacteria grow in it. This way they can come on out. So we'll just see how the dog wakes up and how it looks. And I hope it didn't gross you out too much, but even if it did, it's your fault for watching. Well, the hope you enjoyed that. Um, I didn't. My assistant had the camera off, unfortunately, and she when she was trying to film me cut down the ear canal. I usually use straight scissors, and I put them right inside the ear, right on the sides of the tube, and cut right down the canal as it goes downward and stop where it starts to turn in, and that way it you can see readily the little small little horizontal canal when it turns in and once you get that cut and sewed into place then the air gets more air narrow canals uh, can drain better and hopefully the infection gets under control we used to do this surgery a lot but now that we can cure ears with better drugs better cleaners and use food uh, limited f ingredients like fish and potato and duck and potato and chicken and rice and homemade food ear infections we can control ear infections a lot better than we used to if your dog has a real greasy ear you're never gonna cure that ear infection you have to get the grease out bacteria and yeast can hide in that grease so you can use Dawn detergent and warm water and then you can use one a dilute solution of vinegar as a rinse and you can see that on one of my other videos on uh, temporary ear treatment. Um, so you got to keep that ear clean and then you have to get put in the right antibiotics or anti-yeast products in order to get those uh, those bugs out of there so that the ear can grow the normal flora again and protect itself. But again you will never cure an ear unless you address food allergies or try to treat it, at least keep it clean, so that the allergies to pollens and molds that cause yeast growth and bacterial growth don't have a chance. When they have hay fever or, pollens or allergies to pollens, molds, and grasses, it's really hard to because that's very cyclic. It'll come and go, and you'll have to just keep some uh, ear cleaners and ear antibiotics or anti-yeast medications on hand. There's also a drug called cyclosporin or atopica. It used to be called atopica. Now it's just cyclosporin. And it can also help dogs with hay fever. You can also give your dog Benadryl at a 1 milligram per pound twice a day for itchy ears and itchy skin. And that's on my, uh, at my site, Dog Dish Diet. It's my 11 practical home remedies. So there's a lot in, in that Home Remedies, it talks about how to treat uh, ear and ear infections. So there's lots of things to think about with ear infections, but number one is feed a good food. And don't ruin it by feeding biscuits or greenies or dental chews that have wheat in it after you pick up a good food that doesn't have wheat in it or grains in it. Anyway, if you get a chance, go to my site and check out my books, Dog Dish Diet, and feed your vet, not feed your pet, feed your vet 
or feed your pet to avoid the vet. If you don't use a better diet and your dog has a lot of chronic medical problems, you will feed your vet. Anyway, well, you have a great day. Thanks so much.